my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Today we'll do a reading for the coming new moon, which is in Virgo. As many of you, you know, I am a Sagittarius, but my moon is in Virgo. As well, my mama is in Virgo. As well, my younger brother has their moon in Virgo. And a few our relatives as well. So I am surrounding by Virgos quite a, a bit. Let's love what we have for this particular new moon. As you know, Virgo, it's kind of putting it together, put yourself together energy or do the right thing at the right time. This new moon in Virgo is on August 27th. I do record this reading on August 24th. I probably put it later, upload it, depends how the uploading goes. But whoever needs to hear this message or for whatever reason you come in here, you have something to pay attention to or listen to at this time. You know, sometimes we feel a little over the place and that's come Virgo, you know, with a new fresh start, probably a blank page that we need to start writing and put it there. Good time for manifesting new things as the new moon, probably a rebirth. Many of you may think of something new to, to get here. Hey, why not? You know, this lunation happens when the moon moves in conjunction with the sun. So that it appears invisible from our beautiful Earth. You know, in astrology going, yes, we do more a tarot energy here on the channel, but sometimes we are going a little bit on our beautiful friends astrology. And the new moon feels like a harbinger to change that offers a moment for new ideas and opportunity to manifest. Always starting your manifestation, write them down as you have them. And, you know, as well, mutable zodiac sign for Virgo. Nothing set in stone. If this works for me, great. If not, let's see what we can do about it. Virgo as well is a earth energy very very mutable on earth doesn't sit in one place getting organized as the virgos many many virgos you you will see them in a tidy clean organized home or environment most virgos don't really like you know the filthy or they don't like disorganization they don't like things to be all over the place they need to put in order everything as well for some of you from the virgo energy you you could choose to to go into something that puts you more in a a place that I can do this, I can make it, and I can move it. That's quite a Virgo. All right, August 27th. Seems like a new moon, but for many, many of you, my feel that a cycle ends, another starts. Yes, Virgo season starts on August 23rd, but with the new moon, in Virgo, that's the time, the most important beginning. And yeah, we'll go till September 22, 23rd this season. Sometimes, you know, Virgo energy will bring us to self-improve, self-empower, self-manifesting things, but also Virgo brings critique quite a lot. 
don't ever be afraid of critique. As I always say, comment below or your feedback is important because critique is what you need the most to improve. Because with all the time somebody tells you you are great, you're doing great, or I like what you do, might not be as much as an improvement. Yes, it's good, but sometimes when somebody tells you, well, improve on this, yes, you should do. As a spiritual being on this earthly life, as more into tarot, astrology, and energies, we always improve. Always, including me. Even though I, I created this channel and keep continuing to be here with all of you, I improve as you improve. Some of you as, you know, a spiritual teacher, counselors, tarot readers, even energy readers. And some of you just in the beginning, and that's okay. One step at a time, we are moving forward. And even those who never believed in spirituality or into energy, they are those kind of souls in here as well. And I'm glad that there was a shift of perception in there. I'm not here to imply to someone anything, but I want all of you to, to be hungry for more. Not for me, not for others, for you, always. Okay, loves. So yeah, many, many of you might manifest that perfect relationship on this season. But now as well, perfect relationships never exist. They are perfect moments, perfect little things, you know, might not be. As well, as we moving forward in Virgo season, we have Mercury retrograde comes in and starts on September 9. But even though this Mercury retrograde comes, retrogrades are great to reflect certain things we, we probably wanted to do at one point and now we can put in order so we can go forward. Mercury retrograde as well speaks of plans, projects that been there but you never take the leap. Good to start. This moon is square Mars. You know, Mars is the planet of pleasure and desire. Mars rules Aries, which is all that, that masculine energy of me. I can do, I can take action. And indeed here could be quite a push. A few words for each zodiac sign, starting with Aries. This Virgo, this Virgo season, Virgo new moon, let's say that, will push you to reorganize certain priorities. Probably to bring in order your space, your home, or probably to put in order your diet. It's a great time to create boundaries with certain people and for others to step back. Because not everything we need to explain if someone doesn't get it. For the Taurus, hey, it's a fellow Earth energy Taurus, Virgo, you know. For some of you, it's a great time to do some self-healing rituals. 
there are simple rituals of just taking a hot bath, putting some salt, because you know, salt is the cleanest energy. Salt is cleaning energy, water is cleaning as well. And for some of you, you might be getting even from Leo season that creativity of let's bring something into the routine we we have or we are getting for gemini's yeah not much for you gemini but i see a slightly quiet time for some of you you might see or you might feel the need of inviting a friend at this time or go to a friend go to a family or you know go somewhere where it's new to revive your energy to renew your energy just be careful because who does invite you might not wait you okay and for some of you you just want just to be by yourself into a whole new place. Even if you take a getaway, a weekend off, that will bring you much, much energy. For cancer, there's up and downs or start certain up and downs to even up. Probably communicating with someone in particular for some of you, you might feel a little sensitive at this time or vulnerable, and that's okay. For others of you, someone here might say something to you. Try to not take it personally because that will trigger something deep inside. So be on a light note, okay? For Leo. It's time for you loves to set up a budget or to work on your budget because some of you might tend to spend a little too much around the season, okay? And for others of you, especially for those of you who wants every time to do good, make good, don't forget about self-worth and not everyone appreciate you at your true value just someone to like you don't need to you know pressure more sugar whatever you don't need for some leos comes gratitude or that that thing of i'm practicing what i feel most connected with do so loves do so and for beautiful virgos it's a great and transformative time for yourself and especially since you spend the last season most likely in your head doing certain things now you're putting all those revelations those feelings those hopes into actions it's kind of action baby and this most likely comes because of certain habits you formed or certain things hold you back other seasons other times or probably other influences pay attention to what you obsessing over and what you are overthinking and instead remember to keep things simple you know some of you might say well the biggest commitment is me to grow within me and do me quite a thing quite a thing Libra that's you loves and for some of you you are really really have this urge of I want to be more up and about or meeting new people, you know, the social life. 
I want to be around people. I want to, you know, do certain things. And most likely for some of you, especially if you have certain things regard someone or that personal baggage, like you feel the need of going, going, venting, doing. For most of you loves, take it slow, one step at a time. And sometimes see the bigger picture, reflecting on more whatever happens around you, to you and inside you will give you more insights than just going and doing other things. I'm not saying that everyone does this. For some of you, inner peace is very important. Bringing more than what is not needed may not be the great. Scorpios, this new moon in Virgo will remind you that it's okay to go to others for support or if you need support, ask for it. For some of you, you, you might find that whatever you are around, people around, the coming others, new people into your life, new ways, and people see you as probably a leader one or someone who can lean upon to or someone who can learn from. Well, this is a portal for you. It's an open door to go for more. Do you? If you have any goals to go, go ahead, loves. Sometimes speaks about your boldness. Be bold. Do you? And for Sagis, as you know, loves, even I am a Virgo moon, I am a Sag sun. This Virgo moon could be a very tempting time to, probably for many of you, to put all your eggs in one basket. Take a risk or let's say risk it all and completely switch something out of blue. Probably you want to just leave the place where you are and move to something new or into something new or leave the area where you are and move to a different place state country you name it but rather jumping sedge without any regret be careful there is consequences so risky stuff might not be your you know big big thing this month, even though you do want so. Patience, patience, patience. You are in process of that move, whatever you want it to. Yes, that kind of like when it's coming, how long it takes. You know, you are the one protected and protect your energy and map out what you really need and what you don't must have and probably the one I liked it okay because you know the key to achieving what you want even the empire you want to build is reminding yourself it's a marathon not a sprint slow and steady wins the race Capricorns you know, Virgo is like you, Earth. But the Virgo also inspires you to explore outside of your comfort zone a little more. Prompting you to change your perspective on values or identities you hold dearly. Probably, hey, work, work, work is the best. Probably now it's a little different or explore something different. Whatever you adopt you know, probably new philosophies or exploring something new. This new moon will help you to wide broaden your horizon. Why not? This time is quite an understanding. You don't need to prove anything to anyone. All what you need to do is to improve in yourself. Your worth begins with you and your essence. And all your accolades are special awards. 
For my accordions, we have for you radical changes coming in. There's a biggest lesson out there that you learn, learn to balance your advocacy for you versus advocacies for others. Who are you? Who are them? What you are? And what are they? It's okay to be selfish sometimes, especially when it comes to self-care and improvement. If I really want this, I gotta do it. You like it or you don't. This moon in Virgo is reminding you that in order to help the greater good, you have to work on yourself. Every time when you go in, into an airplane and the steward or stewardess is telling you, put your belt first, put your life-saving vest first, and then help others. That's kind of a thing this month for you. You know, build you, and then you can help others. For Pisces, you know, blink, 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 you are in the spotlight, loves. Yes, Virgo looks like practical for you, but give you also to bring that real energy as well. People notice you more than others. Yes, you might feel a little restricted that the Virgo season brings to you, but you want to extend. That's why many, many people might feel that you are the hardest to be understood than others. Because indeed, here you are Pisces bringing from all zodiac signs a little bit. For some of you, you might bring this earthly lunation most likely for healing or brings more healing or people alike comes into your life. So yeah, sometimes being around these people, it's probably the best. Bring you more energy or charge you with a lot of energy. Great to say. So yeah, loves. That's what I I wanted to say for especially this new moon in Virgo. Because sometimes we and most of the time we do readings, but I wanna bring this insights that I got quite quickly. So welcome to Virgo season. Happy new moon in Virgo. Great time to reorganize, great time to build you and build things around you and probably within. Thank you for listening to this video because it's more like a listening than a seeing video. And I'll see all of you next time. Namaste.